What's poppin'? Today we're gonna be looking at the bullshit that Thorfinn goes through in Vinland Saga. And I'm telling you, this is one fucked up transformation. They managed to turn a D1 bitch into a mercenary. But before I start spilling all the tea, let me refresh your memory. Now, bullshit is a term used to describe shit that's just not true. It could also be something stupid that somebody did. For example, remember those times your mama beat your ass because you got a bad grade in school? And she told you that she was beating your ass out of love? Well, I'm here to tell you that's some bullshit. Because she didn't beat your ass because you got a bad grade. She beat your ass because you made her look stupid. Now all the moms talking shit, saying, oh, she got the special kid. Nevertheless, your boys got the blueprint for this shit show. But let's start by talking about the dad that fought Ashalad. Now, Force being Thorfinn's father is a fucking demon. Like, this is the late ancestor of Yujiro Hanma. And at one point in time, he was a commander. And just look at what he's doing. He's jumping boat to boat as if he was a shinobi. Just fucking everybody's shit up on sight. But because Thor's first child was born, he decided to leave the lifestyle behind. Then 15 years years later and shit hits the fan because Thorst is being asked by one of his buddies to go smuggle drugs across the sea. Honestly, it might have been just some oregano, but drugs sounds a lot more dramatic. And this was supposed to be a small job. I mean, he's taking a bunch of young men that are simping over his daughter. So this ain't exactly the dream team. So while everybody's getting ready to head out, there is beef happening in the background because a person by the name of Flocky is asking Ashalad, aka the leader of an entire mercenary fucking army, to off Thorst. And I'm not gonna fucking lie, this makes sense. I mean, look at him he's rowing one side of a boat by himself with a spatula but just to make matters worse once they rowed off the island orphan decided to pop out of a crate swim back to shore you dumb bitch but unfortunately they make it to the island and take thorfinn with him and thor's buddy is scouting out the village and he don't like the look of things he's telling everybody this bitch is missing one too many buildings so we need to put this bitch in reverse so as everybody starts backing up the breeze starts falling off the island and this is when ashalad came out the cut even the simps know that their ass is grass. So this man Thorst just takes a deep breath, grabs his sword, and tells Thorfinn, I'm about to go to work. Jumps in that bitch like he's part of the Avengers. Yo, who the fuck said you could hop on this boat? You better back the fuck up, stop. I beg your pardon? The Lorax stopped playing around, but he got knocked the fuck out with a funny bone. Three more try to run his fate, but they only got a participation award. Even Ashalad's right-hand man thought they were fighting a natural disaster. So he took a magic mushroom thinking he could go Super Saiyan. Like, Jesus Christ, look at him. He's PKing his own teammates. Everybody just starts jumping off the boat thinking he's grown a fucking tail. Damn, I thought he was gonna do something. But this man still tried to power up and instead just got his chin sent to his fucking forehead. And Thorst is just standing there nonchalantly running everybody's face. So Thorst looks over to see how the simps are doing and they're a few steps away from being put on the market. And just to make things a little more complicated, Ashalad's boy is ready for round two. So Thorst punches our drugged out Super Saiyan so far he gets sent to the other ships. And this is when Thorst regroups with all the simps and starts telling them, if y'all don't want to end up like them, you best start skedaddling. But you see, the problem with this is that Ashalad still has archers posted at the top of the island. So Thorst realizes they ain't bitching out. So Thorst proposes a duel to Ashalad. And the rules were that if Ashalad wins the duel, then he gets to kill off Thorst. But if Thorst wins, then everybody gets to go home without any trouble. So they start fighting. Ashalad just cuts the sail and disappears like Forrest Gump's brain cells. And he hits that boy Thorst in the chest. But instead of being surprised, Thorst apologizes to Ashalad. Hey, my bad, but I'm about to beat your ass. So Thor starts beating on Ashalad's sword, but Ashalad notices and breaks his instead. So he ends up going for a wide swing, but this is what Thor was waiting for. And he knocks the sword out of Ashalad's hand, and that's the end of the duel. But things just got awkward because everybody's waiting for the killing blow. But Thor is saying, we don't gotta do all that, just surrender. But Ashalad's telling him, dog, I ain't about to look like a bitch in front of my boys. And while they're trying to figure out the winner, Thorfinn gets taken as hostage. So Thor comes up with a solution. Just kill me. And that was about it. He just died then and there. Like, hey, yo, what the fuck just happened? Like, this man Thorfinn literally had to watch his daddy die for no fucking reason. This man Thor's pretty much said, oh, you need me to off myself? I bet. This next segment showcases the transformation of our Weenie Hut Jr. member. And the best way to describe this shit is no fucking shot. So without further ado, I present to you a fatherless child. Now, after the death of Thorst, Thorfinn ended up becoming a hostage to Ashalad. And Thorfinn was pissed. I mean, look at him. Those are the eyes of illegal activity. But we fast forward, and this is when Thorfinn really gets to know what these people are all about. And he's just watching them pillage the fuck out this village. But for some dumbass reason, Thorfinn woke up with reckless tattooed on his forehead. 
forehead. Cause this boy decided to challenge Ashalad to a duel. And it wasn't looking too hot for him. I mean, he ran straight and then got his sword stuck in some plywood. After that, Ashalad kicked him in the chest and said, stop being a bitch. So this is when Thorfinn decided he needs to go on a training arc. But really, it was just him throwing his dagger into a tree. So good fucking luck. Round two starts and Thorfinn starts swinging for his life. But once again, he started getting stomped out. I mean, kicking a child in the face is gonna make him ugly for life. But remember, this man had a training arc. <laughs> he really just smacked the fuck out that dagger. So Ashlad ended up getting bored and telling Thorfinn, I'm not trying to murder little kids. So until you can prove yourself in the battlefield, that's when we can have a proper duel. And those words hit Thorfinn some type of way. Cause this transformation turned him into a different breed. So we get a 10 year time skip and Ashlad sees these two clans at war. So he starts telling everybody, we're gonna join the attackers and then we're gonna take all their money. But before all that, we need to scout this bitch out. So Thorfinn, you ready? And this boy boy starts menacingly walking to the front like he knows he's the shit <laughs> but goddamn that boy's short as hell but Thorfinn starts getting pissed off at Ashelad because he's like I've been doing shit for you for 10 years and you still want more but Ashelad's like hey hey if you want a reward I'll give you three gold coins by the end of this but Thorfinn says stop playing bitch you know what the fuck I want <laughs> whoa whoa scary but if that's what you're asking for it's gonna cost you a little extra maybe like a general's head and he agrees and started Naruto running. So Thorfinn meets up with the attackers and he starts talking to the leader. And goddamn, this man is big fucking bone, built like a beach ball. And Thorfinn just pretty much tells him, y'all just need to start the attack and we'll do the rest. And beach ball Kun was a little suspicious, but he said, fuck it. So the battle begins and Thorfinn's trying to figure out which one the general is. One of the guys just say, it's that peacock looking bitch. I bet. So Thorfinn hits the jets. He's running straight to the wall. Clears a 15 yard jump like he's on some Assassin's Creed type shit. And makes it on top of the wall as if he's the Grim Reaper. And Thorfinn makes quick work of these people. I mean, the first guy got absolutely body. After that, a group of three tried to take him on, but they just evaporated. And look at these guys. They don't even know what the fuck just happened. So Thorfinn ends up playing Mirror's Edge, runs through all the guards, and cuts the general's head off. He had to jump in the water because he dropped it. So once Thorfinn regroups with everybody else, he challenges Ashlad to a duel. Again. So the duel is getting ready to start, and Ashlad starts talking to Thorfinn. Hey, you've gotten a little bigger. Last time I remember, you were about this tall. But Thorfinn doesn't give a fuck he started swinging immediately but Ashelite said you need to respect me when I'm talking bitch but Thorfinn ate that shit and started running to Ashelite again try to cut that man's fingers off but Ashelite tried to grab him and this is when things get plain disrespectful because this man Ashelite started asking Thorfinn what his dad's name was he's just like I'm sorry I've just been off in so many people I just couldn't remember but like seriously was I even the one that killed your father and Thorfinn was fucking pissed I mean look how he's holding the dagger but instead Ashelite made him do a cartwheel in the air and then that was the end of the duel this is just fucked i mean this man got sent to fight an army by himself and then just came back for an ass whooping even ashlad used talk no jutsu on his ass just to fuck him up but finally we have the shits of all bullshit i mean this is a straight dumpster fire i'm saying like worse than thorse's duel so for our final segment how do you intend to live your life for starters thorfinn's been through a lot of shit at this point he had to fight somebody named thorkel i mean this is a gorilla in a man's body just look at this fight scene he's using in a whole fucking tree as a bow staff. Obviously, Thorfinn got fucked up, but then he ended up meeting the prince of the country, which also meant that he had to fight Thorkel again, because let's just say that the king is not the best father figure. He had another duel with Ashelad for the fourth fucking time. Let's just say Tuck no Jutsu worked again. And finally, the prince was returned to the king safely. Now, let's talk about the bullshit. Now, the king wanted to reward Ashelad for returning the prince safely. Obviously, we know this is Cap, because homie's been trying to kill him off the whole time. But here's the thing. The king was hoping that Ashelad would stay by his side, especially when invading Wales. Now this is a dick move because if you didn't know, Ashelad is from Wales. But Ashelad started doing some smooth talking and told the king that it was a bad idea. And the king was acting impressed, but when he walked up to Ashelad, he was just saying, why you tripping dick? We could just go kill off all those slaves just like your mother, and we can even go kill off my son. My god, this king is utter trash. And this is when we see Ashelad really pissed off for the first time. And he starts smack talking the king. You fat toad-faced bitch, that crown looks shitty on your head. And the king's just like the fuck. 
fuck you just say? You couldn't hear me, you dumb bitch. I said that crown looks shitty on your ugly face. He even tells everybody his real name, which turns out he's the true heir to the king. But Flocky throws a cup of wine at Ashley trying to get him off guard. But it was already too fucking late because Ashley already beheaded the king. Now the reason that Ashley did this is one, because the king is bad shit crazy. Two, because he wanted to kill off the prince, which was a much better social figure. And three, because he wanted to invade Wales. But the reason that Ashley starts acting crazy afterwards is so that the prince can kill him off, aka kill the traitor, hence making him the hero. But there's just one problem. Thorfinn ended up seeing the prince stab Ashalad, and you can just see how desperate he is in his face. He's screaming at Ashalad, telling him that we need to get the fuck out of here. Our beef isn't over, we still need to duel. But instead, Ashalad just offers Thorfinn his life, and Thorfinn is just screaming, fuck all that shit, it's gotta be a fight. But Ashalad just looks at Thorfinn and asks him the question, how do you intend to live your life? He just told Thorfinn not to be chained by all this revenge bullshit and just to be free. And after that, homie went to sleep. This man really traumatized Thorfinn his entire life and then just Peace the fuck out. I mean, granted, this is the best slash saddest villain death I've ever seen, but I'ma be honest, I don't even know how Thorfinn feels about this. I don't know if he's mad, sad, or all the above, but I do know that this is a fat load of bullshit. Nevertheless, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know another character you guys want me to talk about, and 10k likes if you want another one.